It's called the greatest setting in college football. And even if the skies open up, that pales in comparison to the purple rain that will be unleashed by the homestanding Washington Huskies. What a matchup we have in store. It's still early in the season, but this is a major test for a couple of squads who've gotten out of the gate undefeated. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the Northwestern Wildcats. Taking on the winners of three straight, the Washington Huskies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. the gun they'll run it inside crosses the 30 he's got a lane and he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down this crowd bringing the energy and noise early makes the catch and he's brought down the margin for error so small in a conference like this and in big 10 play really imperative to get off to a good start really focus on all offseason getting off to such a great start right start fast win our conference well this is step one and so i think you, you're so tired of hitting your own color jerseys by the way you're excited when you get in conference play you start to get some of that familiarity some of that also that hatred that you have for these other teams so the big 10 is a fun conference yeah and you know both of these teams the players have had this game circled all offseason because this is the first one this is the first step towards winning a big 10 championship both teams feel like they've got the playmakers to compete in conference this year but it all starts today the give to the running back from the shotgun and the defense stops him just short of the first down maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks second and very short here for the offense smashes through he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Buying some time. Complete to the right. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. The Wildcats have it with a first and 10. Now rolling to the left. Trying to make magic with his feet. 
They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the one, two, and he's got a first down. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Looking for a crease, it's Porter. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him on to the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. He's going to fire to the left, and they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Use the play fake, now to throw. He'll let one go down the right side. And he's got it! Touchdown, Northwestern! That was just as simple as playing catch and warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field, throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. hand to the running back running with power makes the tackle at the 30 after he picked up 10 now on first down from the 30 touch pass on the jet sweep powers through quick step and go just gashing this defense a big gainer to the 40 yard line I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers the football in space. What a creative way. This little kind of push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. Trying to escape and get it himself. Got a lot of running room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, it's so nice to have a weapon like this at quarterback. It dictates coverage. You want to play man-to-man? -man? Everybody turns their back. Watch him pick him up, put him down, shoe up yards, getting a big play down the field. He's all the way down to the three. An electric one has him set up. And the Wildcats trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. the gun the running back tries to hit the hole a seven yard pickup it'll be second and three got a little work done on first down now back to the line from the gun running back gets the give brought to the ground but not before getting enough for the first down from the 17 yard line it's first and ten he wants to throw now adjusting He'll let it go down the right side. And he hauls it in inside the 30. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys. With that last completion, he's already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And, man, you know he's looking for more. That last play changed everything on this possession. They've got it first and 10 inside the 30. Leaves it with the back. He's there to make the stop. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He's going to take off. Keep it. Headed to the end zone. And he's finally forced out of bounds. Another first down, and he has just been running wild on this defense. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You... Touchdown, Northwestern! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. This is a guy that put a lot of pressure on himself coming in this season. He felt like he was ready to have a breakout year. He knew he had all the tools in the toolbox to be able to get it done, and he's showing it. That's his 10th rushing touchdown on the season. They go to the ground. At midfield, he's got room. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. Showing off the arms. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion to throw. It's Barber looking to scramble. Unleashes one. Touchdown, Wildcats. And they take it in for six more points. When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. off to the lone back find some running room he'll pick up four out to the 12. it's the mo of this offense and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football he's got an open man a huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds and he has the first down I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. On second down, he'll let it fly. He throws one to the left. Grabs it inside the 10. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. This offense is about to face the one thing that can stop it. Time expiring in the first half. Before then, they can get another score. Oh, big J. 
shoot to get past. Touchdown, Northwestern. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. To the air, it's Barber. Moves away as he feels pressure. He'll turn it loose out to the right. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. I think it's really hard. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. On the move, he fires. A strike downfield. Oh, look out, there he goes! Touchdown, Wildcats! And the beatdown has ensued. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. He's looking to throw it. Using his legs to buy some time. And it's caught inside the 25. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of the game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. If I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The defense's head may still be spinning. They're just outside the red zone now. First and 10 from the 22. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Nice play by the defense, but now is a time they've got to be more consistent. They allowed this running back to go off in that first half, and moving forward now, they've got to try and take this running back away. Touchdown, Northwestern! And the punishment has been extended. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. They're going to run it to the right. At the 15, he's loose. Smashes through the tackle. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. You want to know why this offense runs the football a lot? Because you got a guy that's top five in college football rushing. You give him the football, and he'll continue to make plays. I imagine they're going to keep feeding him because he keeps putting up productive numbers. Suddenly, after that last big play, they're on the move. First and 10 from the 44. They think there's room to run to the right here. Sweet cut there. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Clock kicks under the four-minute mark here in the third quarter. Keeping his eyes downfield, rolling left. At the 35, he's open. 
They finally corral him, and he turns that into a big gain and a first down. Northwestern ready to dial one up on first down. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Fires on the move. He's got it and still on his feet. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. Now, we'll hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set him up first and goal. To the air, it's Barber. On the move to his left. Touchdown, Wildcats! And the stomping has commenced. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Play callers love it offensively. When you can run the football when the other team knows you're going to do it. That is called imposing your will. And here in the fourth quarter, with the lead, very... Nothing but green ahead. The 30. The 20. Touchdown, Northwestern. And the pummeling has started. Touchdown. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. At the 45 on his way. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Wildcats. And the route is on. With that, the lead nice and comfortable, and they're cruising toward a 4 0 start. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns, and you know... Moves. On the move. At the 35, he's got room. Can anyone catch him? At the 20. Touchdown, Northwestern! And the beatdown has ensued. They've built a little cushion and now closer to getting a victory here in week four. Yeah, offensive line, give me a crack. I'll do the rest. How about the Jets? The speed. He just turns it on, going 70-plus to the house. What a huge play by the running back. On the move, it's Porter. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. First down play at second and six. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Still on his feet at the 45. Off he goes. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. And the punishment has been extended. 
huge play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Got room to work. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. Now. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating, and you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers, but now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. They'll go right back to the run. Gets him on the ground at the 28, but not before a big 10-yard pickup. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Give to the running back. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front. Here comes the offense on second down. To the ground with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the deep. Hand off from the gun. At the 45 on his way. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. The rankings, the odds makers, everything indicated that these guys had a big hill to climb. But they climbed it, they got to the top, and they get a landmark win. And we know coaching staffs always do a great job trying to motivate their own guys and get them ready to play a ranked opponent. But David, to me, it looked like this team just wanted it more. They came out, they were the more physical team, and they did what they had to do at the end of the day to get this one. Yeah, and how do you gain respect? You want respect, you talk about our team's a really good team, you want to build on that? You beat good teams, that's what you do. You beat ranked teams that people think a lot of. This team pulls off the ranked upset, and guess what? Now what happens? You start to maybe find your team in the ranked spot.